today's students. students. In this video, I am going to explain to you problem number 8 from Captain Subramanian's textbook on finding the center of buoyancy. Problem number 8 says that a barge is prism shaped such that its deck and keel are identical and parallel. Its sides are vertical. Its deck consists of three shapes triangular bow. Each side is 12 meters, as you see, triangular bow, each side is 12 meters, rectangular mid part, 18 meters long and 12 meters wide, and a semicircular stern whose radius is 6 meters. The light displacement of the bar is 500 metric tons and it has 5000 tons of carbon in it. Therefore, the total displacement is 500 plus 5000 is equal to 5500 metric tons. We have to find its Kb when floating on an even keel in salt water. Kb is the height of the center of buoyancy from the keel. And you have to assume pi to be equal to 3.142. So, here we have the picture. You have the triangular bow, each side is 12 meters, that is 12, 12, 12. The rectangular midsection, length is 80 meters, breadth is 12 meters, and the semicircular stern, the radius is 6 meters. <coughs> so, for ease of calculation, I have divided this into three parts A is for the triangle, the, the triangular bow. B is for the rectangular mid, uh, mid part and C is for the stern, semicircular stern. Now I have drawn the same picture for you in a three dimensional format and I am going to use the water line in this case. H is the height from the keel to the deck and D, small d is the raft at which the prism shaped vessel is floating. So let us see how it works out. We are solving for the H section, that is the triangle above. We first find the value of H, okay, which is a, which is this part over here in the picture. This value of H, okay, the vertical part of the triangle section. So using the theorem, we find h square is equal to 12 square minus 6 square, and that gives us a value of 10.39 meters. And the displacement of the A section is volume into relative density, and volume we know is equal to area into the draft into the relative density of the water in which she is floating. So the area of the triangular section is half base into height into the draft into the relative density. <clears throat> Putting in the values for the breadth, which is 12 meters, and the height that we just found out over here equal to 10.39 meters. The draft is unknown factor, the relative density is 1.025. Thus, we get the displacement of the A section to be 63.9 times D metric tons. Likewise, we solve for the B section that is the rectangular midship section. The displacement of B section is equal to volume into the relative density. And we know volume is equal to area into the draft. Thus, we have area equal to length into breadth. The draft is D and the relative density of the water in which it is floating. Thus, we, when we substitute the values, we have length is 80, breadth is 12, draft is not known. The relative density in salt water is 1.025. Thus, the displacement of the B section works out to 984 times 2, 
No. I'm gonna check that. Solving for the semicircular C section, we have the displacement equal to half the volume into the related density. Remember, it's a semicircle, so it's not a full volume, it's half the volume. And volume of a semicircle is equal to pi r square. So, volume is equal to in this case, area into, dense, area into the draft into the related density multiplied by 0.5 and area is pi r square. Here is the value of the area, pi r is the radius which is 6 meters as is given, d is unknown and related density of the liquid in which the ship is floating, prism is floating is 1.025 salt water. So we take half of that and that works out to 57.96 times the draft metric tons. Now we know from the data that was given in the problem that the displacement, total displacement is 500 plus 5000 tons of carbon that is in it, that is 5500 tons. And this is equal to the displacement that we have calculated section-wise of A, B and C. The draft being the common factor, we have taken that out from the bracket and we have added, we are adding 63.9 plus 984 plus 57.96. That gives us draft is equal to 5500 divided by 1105.86. This is equal to 1105.86. Thus, we see that the draft works out to 4.974 meters. Now, KB is equal to half the draft, that is 4.974 divided by 2, giving us the height of the center of buoyancy above the field to be 2.487 meters. Thank you very much for your kind attention. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up, share as well as subscribe to my channel. Thank you.